So I'm personally not a huge fan of snakes. You know, they're all slippery and gross. You know, I'm just not a fan. But there is one exception, and that is actually the video game snake, guys. I think snakes in video games are sick. <laughs> so after I actually uh, quickly claim my daily free reward, thank you very much, I think it's about time that I build myself a snake in build -a Now, I've actually done this in the past, and it turned out terribly. Yeah, it was actually not very great. But since then, we've had so many updates. We have micro blocks. You know, all this other stuff, I think I can build myself a phenomenal looking snake. So after a little bit of research, I think that I'm going to be making a boa constrictor just because I think they look the coolest, to be honest. So let's get working on it, baby. All right, guys. So first things first, we have to build ourselves a little bit of a platform to build on just so that we can actually start off with the cross section. The, 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 you know, the two. I don't know. what. How do you call bro, a snake anatomy? I don't know. But yes, they, they have like this tubey part that um, a snake is pretty much just one long tube. Let's be honest. So yeah, we're actually going to have to build the cross section. But yeah, if you were actually to cut a snake in half and like look at the cross section, it's not just a perfect circle. It's actually like a loaf of bread. It kind of looks like a loaf of bread pretty much. So yeah, that's what we're going to have to be making. Okay, now how big do I want this thing to be? Now, I want it to be pretty big, but not too big. So maybe like three by three. You know what? I actually think that's a pretty good size. Let's go with that. All right, so let's actually get this cross section made. Well, 0 0.5 action there, and we'll just do a rotation of 15. All right. All right. So the way we're actually going to be do doing this is by placing a block in the center here, rotating it however we want. Uh, it makes it pretty easy to actually line things up. So yeah. And now it's just time that we got to make things very nice and smooth. Oh yeah, baby. That is starting to look really good. All right. Time to clone the whole thing. Oh yeah, baby. That right there is actually looking really good. Okay. This is actually starting to look like exactly like a snake. This is really, really good. Now, the reason I actually decided to go with like the most flat bottom one uh, is because I think it'll make it a lot easier to actually slither along, along the ground. You know, like if I actually had this be perfectly straight or sorry be perfectly circular it would actually be really really hard to like slither around now i have another addition that i think will make this even better and that is this right here i'm gonna go in just like so okay wait no no i need the heaviest block. goal so yeah this right here is actually gonna make this all much much nicer because it will actually weigh down the bottom of the snake so that way it's not gonna just look like it's all mangled now next up we're actually gonna have to make the mechanic that's gonna allow me to connect a bunch of these pieces together so that way it's gonna like move or move around like a snake now previously i have done stuff like this using hinges now one thing i'm actually really curious about is if maybe it is actually smarter to use wheels actually wait <laughs> wheels are really big okay you know what i'm gonna go with servos again or sorry hinges 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 all right so let's actually make this mechanic now starting off i have a pretty good idea so i'm gonna go right like this and place myself two pistons and then right here we're gonna actually build the hinge mechanic so it needs to go like this and like this but not like this i don't want it to actually like turn <laughs> so it needs to go like this and that <laughs> You know what? I'm actually going to make this as small as I can. So let's see. Boom. Just like so. Okay. I want to use as little blocks as possible because otherwise it's going to get very laggy. So honestly, this is pretty much it. I can even cut out that one block right there. It's like this. Like, I think that's all I need. I just got to return. Okay, but I do need the one block. Oops. Okay. One block away. Yeah, I think that's it. It's really simple. But honestly, I mean, it's just like you have a hinge that's facing upwards and one hinge that's facing sidewards. So it can go pretty much all the directions I need it to go. All right. I guess we're going to give the, have to give it a try. Okay. Well, that's two pieces. He says, eh, I'll do like four. Just for a little test. Okay, select all. Okay. Uh, oh, it's kind of lagging a little bit. Oh, 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 please. Okay, wait, I actually made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a grave mistake. I have made a grave error. These blocks need to be on the collision off. Okay, unanchor everything. Yes, okay. That fixed the, la the, the glitching. Pull everything together. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, okay, wait. No, guys, don't worry about the gaps here, okay? I'll fill these in later, but I just need to see how this moves around. Uh, slight issue there being the fact okay you know what i'll just i'll, I'll just use the jet whatever it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine oh my god it's really heavy okay there we go let's see oh dude that actually moves around so well okay let's let's just mess it all up a little bit okay let's fly it around a little bit and then just let it ragdoll dude it works so well oh my god this is by far the best mechanic i've made oh this is so good oh this is so good gotta just measure the distance between these two parts 3.9 all right i guess 
guess with that, it's about time that we actually make the final mechanic. So 3.9. Gotta remember that. And we can just delete everything here and delete everything there. Okay, so we're gonna need to fill the gap. So 3.9 divided by 2 is 1.95. 0 0.05. There you go. So we're gonna have to use that much in between. Now, I'm gonna just be lazy and not do that. Okay, so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna grab these parts that we've already made. And we're gonna grab our clone tool. Uh, set it to the right amount. And we're gonna clone a another part right next to both sides, just like so. Okay, we're gonna delete those two things. And then everything here, all of this stuff right here, except the piston, of course, it's gonna go collision off. Boom, just like so. And that right there, guys, is the final snake part. I don't really know what to call it, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, it's just gonna be snake part, okay? All right, guys, so one little paint job later, and it's starting to look a whole lot more like a snake. Now, as you guys can see, I also added in some end caps right here. So when I actually contract the whole thing together, you can't really see the mechanics because uh, I, I figured that that would actually look kind of bad. So yeah, added those two little things. Now, the only thing that I have left to do is to actually duplicate this thing about a thousand times. So let's get started doing that. Now, actually, these pieces snap together perfectly, which is perfect. Now, the one thing I haven't really thought of yet is how I'm actually going to make like the slithering around mechanic. Like, how are we actually going to move this thing around? Like, I don't really know yet. But I'm sure that isn't going to be all too difficult. Now, this right here, I think should be just about long enough. So let's save everything. And before we actually set everything off, we're going to have to go in between right here and actually make every single one of these pieces here collision off. All right, baby. So I think with that, we have everything ready. Now, after a little bit of thinking, I think I'm going to start off with just a boat motor inside right here, just because I want to give this thing a bit of a test. So we're going to place the chair. All right. So with that, let's try everything out, baby. An anchor everything and suck everything together. Now, as you guys can see, the actual size of the snake shrinks by a lot. But let's try this thing out, baby. Oh my God, I'm excited. Let's go! Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, boat motor is not the way that we should be doing this. Holy crap. Oh, this is bad. I'm about to die. Oh God, oh God. But the snake mechanic, guys, the snake is moving perfectly. Oh my God. Okay, wait, come on. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <gasps> you know, <laughs> uh, if, if, if only uh, boat motors didn't suck this much, this would be great. Okay, we're gonna have to find something better. All right, guys, so now that we pretty much have everything we need, uh, I think it's about time that we built the actual uh, snake head. Yes, that's what I was about to say. So let's do that next. Now, to do this, I'm actually going to go grab this entire piece right here, clone it over, and just simply delete the front, just like so. And yeah, this right here is where we're going to attach the head. All right, guys, ready for the reveal. This right here is my snake. Okay, okay, I'll be honest with you guys. It didn't turn out perfect. Um, the snake is a little bit weird. Let's just say it is extremely difficult to actually build a snake head. I didn't, re I didn't realize this, but it is very, very difficult to build a snake head. But guys, it's fine, you know? It does the job, and it kind of looks like a snake. You know what I'm saying? But guys, when I tell you that this thing is gonna work like the greatest snake of all time, bro, I'm not lying. I actually have gone in, and I've added a wheel to every single one of these uh, segments, as you guys see right here. Kind of like a little bit of a train, uh, and hopefully what that's actually gonna do is it's gonna make it so that we can very smoothly roll this thing around how Ever we want. It should be perfect. I haven't tried it yet. So um, yeah, there, there's a chance that things are going to get messed up, but I think it's going to be all right, guys. With that, no. Let's do the thing. We're going to select everything on anchor and then flick that lever. And uh, uh, guys, that right there is one beautiful looking snake, if I say so myself. Now, actually, my favorite part about this snake is actually how well it moves. Guys, look at this. It pretty much moves however which direction I want to move it. It is so flexible. I mean, I could go over myself. Look at this. Like this. This is so cool. And then that's how I want to start riding. Oh my God. Okay, maybe the wheel speed is a little bit high right now. And we just naturally untangled ourselves there, guys. Bro, look at how well this is working. I'm just slithering around this pole right now, bud. Okay, let's actually, let's actually get out of here. I've had enough. I've had enough. Get out of there. Dude, I, I think that will actually untangle. It did. Dude, look at how well this is working. I am literally a freaking snake. Okay, you can kind to see some of the mechanics on the inside, but generally speaking, I think it ended up very well hidden, you know? Like, actually, pretty difficult to tell what the mechanic here is. It's really cool. All right, boys, here we go. Are you all ready for the ride? Whoa! <laughs> okay, now, I have no idea how this thing is gonna interact when it comes to, like, the actual ocean, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be great. Uh... <laughs> Okay, guys, when you actually start going backwards, by the way, it is super trippy. Oh, my God. He's starting to look very dumb. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm killing my passengers. Oh, I got to save them. I got to save them. I got to save them. Oh, God. This is not a safe ride. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Okay, I have two of them still alive. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, this is a disaster. Come on. Oh, oh they're both still alive. Oh my god. They are both. Did you guys know that when you cut the head off a snake, the rest of its body will still keep going? Actually, I don't even know. I don't even know if that's true. Uh, I've just heard it somewhere before. Okay, I'm just I'm just dead. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is a pretty weird uh, build that I've done right here. I gotta be honest with you. But guys, with that, if you haven't already, please check out the merch shop. We got the Epic Blueprint mouse pad, which is only $15, by the way. As well as hoodies, t-shirts, and all the other beautiful stuff. Check it out. I'll see you later, boys. Hey. Hey.